How are you guys enjoying the speedrun so far? This is episode 19, let's get straight into it. Alright, 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 our first game today against somebody who's almost 1800. Let's start with our D3. C5, one of my least favorite um, things to play against, but this has transposed from a Philidor, a white Philidor, into what we call, well, uh, a French Defense King's Indian attack. But my opponent is not playing this very well because he allowed me to do this. As you guys can see, I'm going to get a lot of pressure on these pawns extremely, extremely, extremely quickly. Now the question is, what type of setup do I want to go for? Do I want to go through A3, B4 setups? And I guess we could, and I guess we'll just do that. And I like this setup because it allows us to play bishop b2 and just attack these pawns in the center. If my opponent eventually plays e5, which as you guys can see he did right there, then um, we can just play moves like knight here and f4 in the future. Alright, let's just use all our pieces and attack the weaknesses here. Alright, the more pieces we trade, the better it is for me. So that's something important to note. Alright, let's just castle... Whew. Once f4 strikes, that's going to be a very, very, very important move for me. It's going to be pretty deadly. Mm, he's not threatening to capture there. We can play f4 moves in the future. Let's see what my opponent does here. Ooh, he's planning to play b5. He thinks I won't notice, but I noticed. Now I get this c5 square, which is a nice square for my knight to go to. Once it plops here, pretty good. I also get g3, f4 as I said before. Don't know if I should put h3 first, but it looks pretty decent. Opponent says, uh, no, he doesn't want me to go there. Understandable. I think we just play g3 as I said before with this f4 idea. Just gain more space here. We are still threatening to play f5. We didn't have to play h3, unfortunately for us, because his knight's not here to hop into this square over here. Threatening this, just gaining a lot of space. And that's an interesting move my opponent just played. Didn't expect my opponent to play this. Um, so I guess we take here first, of course. Weaken up this square over here. See which way my opponent captures. Now, here I can capture here. Then bishop captures... No, this is fine. There was probably something better I could have done, but as you guys know, I'm a little bit lazy in terms of the calculation department, so. Um, Alright, now there's this big weakness here that I can attack for the rest of the game, so I'll be doing that. Um, oh, well, we also could have played knight here, because I realized the knight's no longer there, which I probably should have done. It's pretty strong. If he takes, we take back this way. We have a strong bishop on e4. It's pretty decent. Gotta be a little bit scared about my king side because it is looking a little bit shaky, but it's fine for now. Do, 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 do. We also have some threats like take here, take there, take there, if the queen ever moves somewhere along this diagonal. So my opponent pushes here, which makes a lot of sense. Do I want to play knight here first? Just attack that bishop. Ask it where it wants to go. Let's do that. Let's ask that bishop a question, see how he responds. Maybe he takes here, goes for some sacrifices. Then calculate whether or not this is good, but it looks pretty decent for me if he does that, because I get this and I do a fork, which is pretty nice for me. Um, now here, if I take there, I need to calculate quite a bit of stuff. I think I take here, I mean, this looks pretty good. I like that light square bishop. It allows me to play like bishop g4, it allows me to do this over here. I need to be scared. What if he just plays queen here with the idea of just taking here? But I can take there. No, I can't take there because there's a pin. I think if he plays queen g6, if I take here, he's going to capture it there. Then I can play bishop all the way back here. Looks risky, but it looks fine. Alright, he doesn't go for it. Uh, I thought he would go for it, but he didn't. So if we're just in a position where I'm just out material, well... I think that's good for me. When I say think, I mean I know. Alright, let's play h3. Slide the king over. Uh, actually, sliding it over here might be a little bit safer. Hmm. Though, queen g5 attack here. Let's play queen f3. Do, 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 do. 
Maybe I have to play king h1 soon, just to play rook g1. Looks pretty decent here. Obviously, my opponent's trying to play his knight over here, which is a little bit annoying, for sure. Um, all right. I think we just move the king here now. Take here with the queen. He's going to capture back, then he's going to play that knight move that I just mentioned. Oh, he does not. It's interesting. All right, let's play rook here. Let's attack that g5 square. We can play king g2, guarding this f3 square. Our opponent defends that, it's whatever. Just skip our rook on the h file, this is pretty nice. I don't think this f3 check really matters, alright. So now we can play b5 and attack the weaknesses. As you guys know, the rook is much stronger when the position is a lot more crazy because the rook just has more maneuverability, just like in that position over here where we were able to win quite easily. All right, so this one over here. Again, we got the white side, so let's play d3 again. Hopefully we don't get any more boring c5 variations. All right, so let's go into, as you guys know, oh, my opponent just blundered the pawn here. So we'll take it, we'll take the free pawns. Now, these positions are a lot more complicated than they look, so you can't just play uh, willy-nilly, because you might make a mistake and lose the game still. So make sure that your king is safe. Alright, it's bishop d2. More pieces trade off, the better for me. Don't know how many times I said that to you guys, but it, it's true. Let's just play a3, kick that bishop. Can't take my pawn in b2, because my knight's defending it. Take me. Very nice. We can't play g3, which is the move we want to play, which is unfortunate, so let's just play h3, kick him. He's going to capture most likely. Uh-oh, starting to lag. That's not good. Lost my connection. Alright, good. We're back. Um, and we can play g3 now. Just trying to play bishop g2. King safety is what matters in this position. I am up material, so all I need to do is keep my king safe. While trading as many pieces as possible, of course. Alright, let's play knight here. He wants to trade here. I'm down. He's going to play like rookie a, then I get like queen over here. Oof, I forgot about my pawn over there. That's unfortunate. Alright, I guess we just move our queen here. Attack that knight, so he's probably forced to capture us, right? He doesn't. Oh, because, um... Obviously not, because, well, he can take my rook over here, as you guys can see. So let's just make sure I castle, get my king safe. It's where all my problems began. He has some weaknesses here we can attack, so we'll just be doing that. Pieces are better developed, our pieces look better as well. So let's get our queen over here. This is a nice square for our queen, attacks this pawn as well. This is also a very nice diagonal for our piece, so... See, we can make something out of it. Made 92, knight there. Yep, he moves there. Let's move our knight back. Make sure we don't blunder our queen. Our queen's in a good position here. We could have taken on a7, but I think it's fine not to. Um, Alright, he gives us a free knight, so I think we'll take it. We also take the bishop here. Alright. Um, I think we're just going to play knight here. And just not allowing him to play pawn c5, because that would be a pretty annoying move. If I play here, he can take my knight, but I take his queen. If I play here, though, then he can take my queen, then take a uh, pretty important square here. So let's play here. Queen here. This might play f5. He doesn't. Um, let's, ooh, he's trying to take on h3, actually. So let's play here. Got to be a little bit careful. Make sure we don't blunder, since we're ahead. Let's play a little bit faster, make sure we don't get into any time issues. We've gotten into those in the past games, so we don't want that to happen again. Alright, let's play Rook here. Attack that. Let's attack it some more. Might want to play something like here, here. Alright, don't see when my opponent's threatening, so let's just play here. Let's play E3 as well. Make sure all my pieces are, are defended. He's trying to play F5. I don't think he's trying to play F5. I don't think that does much. So let's play here. So your opponent decides to take here. Decides not to. Um, 
All right, this is a little bit annoying. Opponent's being a little bit of a mean person here. All right, let's just play queen back here. You can play like knight over here as well. How are we going to progress here? We are winning at this point, but to progress is a little bit difficult. Let's play it there. All right, he gives us the rook. We'll take that. If we had more time, we would be able to calculate most of these things out. But since we don't, we'll have to make do with what we have. All right, let's take here. Not with the queen, because some of the random discovery attacks and opponent's probably in the game again. He wants to trade pieces, we'll do that. Let's put a rook here. Let's try to pin. All right, we pinned it. All right, now we take, take, take here. Probably should have played here, because then the king can't protect. That's my bad. All right, just get the king closer. Since we have the extra pawn here, this is just an easy one. Uh, also, we have the rook, of course, but... Alright, so that's that. Alright, guys, let's do one more game today. Let's see if we get a black game. No, we do not. Alright, let's just play a Kali Zugatory game. A couple of you guys really enjoyed that from the last two games, so I'll do that for you guys. Now, we do have to be scared of something like this. Oh, never mind. In bishop, When the bishop comes out early like this, we just have to play this move over here. And our position is quite fine because we have ideas like queen b3, which are super deadly for my opponent. Because if he takes, then he has some problems. Now here to want to play knight c3 with bishop d2. Bishop d2, it's a bad bishop I have, so it might be fine. Yeah, let's play bishop d2 because it actually threatens the bishop as well. Then we can play here with our knight protecting this knight as well. We're attacking b7 as well. So boom, attack b7. Um, obviously he takes there. Now if I take back with the knight, he has knight here, which I think is the move he is trying to do. Um, but I think it's fine. I think we can protect it. Because we play here and we defended it. And is he going to take here? Yep. We just take back with the knight. And through all those complications, we are up a pawn now. And it's a safe pawn. It's much safer than the pawn we had last game. Um, because our opponent still has a lot of weaknesses. Now here, I want to play h3 first because I don't want it after I don't want to castle and just allow his knight to come here. It'd be very annoying. Don't want that to happen. Just castle here. Also, maybe we can put a rook right in front of the queen's face. Be a little bit annoying. Maybe we can even play queen here. Our pawns are so 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 good in this position, so there's nothing to be afraid of here. All right, let's play b3 just to make sure this pawn doesn't hang. That would be annoying. <laughs> let's see what our opponent does. Let's see what mischief he may come up with. All right, let's play knight here now. Um, knight there. Queen f6 is the most probable move. Uh, oh no, actually... Just knight here looks pretty strong because he can't play here because knight check and he can't play there because that's a free knight. So my question is, where is he going to move the queen? Doesn't seem to be anywhere with any threats. Alright, so he has to go down there, which makes even more weaknesses for my opponent for me to take advantage of. Um, yeah, let's just move this guy down here. Looks pretty strong and doesn't blunder anything. I'm really bad at like, oh, oops, blundered up too. My bad. Alright, lucky my opponent didn't see it. I've been getting pretty lucky these games, actually. Alright, let's play f3. That knight is kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Actually, hmm. Let's just play rook here. Ooh, I kind of did blunder that. That was unfortunate if my opponent had caught that. Um, we just check down here. Check down there and take there. Looks pretty decent. Uh, yep. Then we can even move the rook back here, the knight back here. Might play a4, but that's fine. Um, need to play a little bit faster, so let's play a3. Then he plays knight d5. My knight's not trapped. Doesn't look like it. Should be fine. Let's play a3. He plays here. Ooh, I probably should have just moved the knight back because I could have taken there. Ugh. Need to play fast. Need to play fast. All right, luckily the opponent doesn't see it, so let's just move this guy over here. Um, actually, should we? We want to move this guy over here. Let's play a4. 
and just move the knight back here and take on h7 when need be. Opponent is probably thinking of this, which makes sense, but then I can take this pawn over here, which is the entirety of this. I can just take there. Alright, then we play back here. Just defend this guy over here. Alright, so he's trying to do some silly tactic. I don't see it though. Yeah, I don't see it right now. So let's just move this guy over here. Okay, need to play fast. Doom, 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 doom. Need to play fast, need to play fast. Play as if my life is on the line here. Check, check, check. Alright, let's play rook here. Maybe we have some checkmate coming up. And it does look like we do have some cool checkmates coming up, actually. Let's play f4. He's forced to capture here. And then the king is forced to go back there. Um, let's play over here. So we can threaten f5. Oh, sorry, I'm down. Low on time. Threaten this. Alright, sorry guys for not speaking, but as you guys know, desperate times call for desperate measures. Ooh, that was a mistake by me. Making lots of mistakes, so it's not good. Huh. And we blundered all three of our pawns immediately. Alright, that is not good. Um... I'm not the best under time trouble, so we'll see what I can do here. Slowly get that pawn. Alright, slowly does it. No need to rush. Get the pawn. Alright, and we got a draw. Alright. Whew. Now, that was really badly played by uh, me for the last few uh, moves, but this is going to be our second game that we drew during the speedrun. I kind of lost track of time like I usually do. Sometimes when I explain things, it just stops for forgetting about things. Now, what could I have done better in this game? So many different things I could have done better. After taking these pawns, what I should have done was I probably should have um, moved this knight over here and just played like g4, g5. Go for like g4 f5 ideas as well. We have so many pawns, there's no need to rush. But since I was low on time, can I think straight? So there's that. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I see you guys in the next one.